Hi, I'm Ken Monka here for Show Racing Red Card at Burnley SC. So I'm from France, uh, yeah, born in the suburb of Paris and I've always lived there. Um, so yeah, my, my mom is French and my dad is uh, from Congo, Congo Brazzaville. Okay. So yeah, yeah, so I'm mixed race, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, I grew up in France and then um, I signed for Monaco when I was 12. Yeah, when I was 12. So it was early, but then I went to Monaco to the academy when I was 15. So, so yeah, that's it really. What's it like the academy compared to, sort of to here? The UK? Uh, it's, it's different because here, I don't think that they have like young people going to the academy to live there without their families. No. So usually their family, well, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different, yeah. Yeah, it's different. So, but it was okay, like, because that's what we was used to in France, you know, like everyone does that. So it was, it was okay. Yeah. And because I signed early as well, I knew what to expect. So it, it was fine. My family would come over, visit me very often. So how often was that? Every my month or yeah. every two, three weeks maybe? Somewhere? Yeah, every two weeks, every month maybe. They will try to come as often as possible. So, so it's, a bit, it's a bit like in this country they have boarding school. So yeah. They send the kids away, you know, yeah. and then the parents visit them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was more in the football uh, yeah, yeah, environment. So it was like we would do at school at home, uh, not at home, but at the academy. So we wouldn't go to normal school. Yeah. We would do school at the, in the academy and... Uh, yeah, that was like, uh, yeah, a little bit like boarding school. We will all be like in the same place yeah. and uh, we'll go to, to school together, eat together, do everything together. Relationships yeah. with people and friendships. Yeah, you're exactly. still in contact with, with people now? That yeah, you work? Yeah. yeah, of course. And because uh, we all like, we all have the same, you know, we, we're all playing dreams. football, and yeah, dreams. Same, and, yeah. And so we, we have that thing together. So yeah, of course. Yeah, I played in Monaco for the first time when I was uh, 17. Uh, so I started to play and then um, there was a change of manager. Yeah. So the other manager sent me back to the second team. So, yeah. And then I wanted to leave and I, I, I was looking for something new, you know, like a, a challenge. Yeah. And uh, because it's unusual for people to go from, you know, Monaco oh. to the championship. Yeah, that's yeah. something that, you know, I, I wanted to do. I saw that as a challenge. And, that's what I did. That's brave. Yeah, yeah, well. And believing in yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I right. knew that it could bring something else to, to my game, you know. So yeah. I did that. I stayed uh, to, in, in Bristol, yeah, playing for Bristol City for three and a half years. Yeah. And then on and my. How did you find that playing in France and bringing. Oh, and it's so different. The yeah, it's it is so different. Experience. But it's not only on the pitch, it's like in life as well. Like, culture, yeah, different culture. Yeah. And I didn't know what to expect as well. Like, Going into a new, yeah, a new culture, a new city. Yeah. I was lucky because Bristol. Even they speak English, yeah, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't speak English <laughs> properly as well, so that was tough okay, at first. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, new. Like I was lucky because Bristol is a really nice city, so I could have ended up like in a not really good city, but I ended yeah, up in a, nice in, place, yeah, in a nice place, place to live. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so it was really good. My family came over with me as well. Okay. So, uh, yeah. so you left with his mom? And uh, no, so my mom stayed in France, but my brother came with me okay. and my li little sisters as well. Okay. My dad so came as well. Brother. Yeah, I've got two older brothers and uh, three little sisters. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so my dad came, my little sisters came, my, my brother came. Yeah. My older brother, he's got children and stuff, so he couldn't come, oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, it's great to have the family yeah, yeah, yeah. support and have the support, eh? Yeah, it was good, yeah. it was good. Even though you're following your dreams, but everyone yeah. is coming with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's good. That's great to hear. And after that, I went on a six-month loan to Auxerre in France. So back to France? Yeah, I went back to France for six yeah. months. So what's that like? Because I'm starting oh, from yeah. going to the UK and going back again. It was so weird, like... I don't know, like I forgot how France was. That's, that's like Be a yeah, yeah, it was, it, but it was good though because I'm French, so like because I left early, mm -hmm. I left young, like people didn't really know me. Yeah. And when I came back, like they like kind of discovered me, yeah, yeah, they knew about me. So no, it was good, it was a good yeah, experience as well. To prove for yourself yeah, 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 exactly. Show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, so okay. yeah, that was so good. Back to Oxford, how long? For six months? Yeah, for six months and then I, I signed here. Okay, how did that come about, signing here? Um, well, I was, so after Auxerre, I was a free agent. Yeah. So uh, I had discussions with the manager uh, early on and it took a long time like to agree on everything, but um, 
Yeah, I came. I came after that. Yeah, speaking, speaking with the manager. Yeah. So you signed me for four years now. Yeah, four years. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm 22. I'm, I'm exactly. in between. Yeah. 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 I don't think that that's something that you are aware of at first mm -hmm. because like it could be subtle you know like subtle, subtle yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so you don't really know about it but um, I think so yeah I think so and because growing up in um, like where I grew up you've got a lot of everything you know so it's not you know you don't really know what you are really and yeah yeah until you come out, yeah, of, until the you come out of, of that yeah. you know so and uh, I've always had that because I'm mixed race, I've always had that double, you know, yeah. double culture. So, yeah, 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 as well, exactly. It? So, exactly. So, because I was in between, I've always be aware of it a little bit. So, yeah. Okay. but yeah, I came across, yeah, I think early, but I just didn't know about it, and no. that's when I grew up that I realized, like, oh, that was kind of yeah. And for you, as I said, you were very young. Yeah. You started going to a different countries, different cultures, yeah. different people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, very but, proud, man. Very yeah. proud. So, what does it feel to be receiving at the end of racism? So, when you actually were confronted with it? Uh, yeah, that, I don't know. That Like, I've always been aware that there was racism and that I could be at the end of it. But I think for me, the, the first time I really felt like that it was weird, you know, that, and that people would see me as different was. Uh, when I was playing for Bristol City and we played against uh, a club and uh, so we played the club and uh, we played the game and everything mm -hmm. and like the day after the game I received a call from uh, someone from the club telling me like uh, we've been uh, that someone contacted us telling us that some chance were uh, directed, yeah, directed to me know. about my race and I was like oh really like what's and and from the home fans or away? No, no, from the away fans. And someone reported it, so that, that's good. Like Someone yeah, yeah, from exactly. the away fans reported it to the authorities, so that yeah, was good. Yeah, but good. that was the first time I was like, oh, so yeah. like when I'm playing, because when I'm playing, I'm just... In the zone. Yeah, I'm yeah, in the zone. Don't, and don't think about it. And people, yeah, people just... And I, I, that's when I realised, like, oh, that's like... People see me differently than I see on myself. Like, yeah, I'm just... Because you're just you. Yeah, I'm just yeah. normal. Like, for me, that's normal. But people see me differently. So yeah. that was the first time. Okay. But apart from that, nah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, man. Good. So what advice would you give to someone, particularly a young person who has experienced racism? Uh, I think it's just ignorance, really. Like, people... I know that it's tough to not take it personal, but you have not... Yeah, it's like... Sometimes you just have to understand that people just don't know sometimes they, they just like it's just yeah uneducated and they just don't know what consequences it could have on you yeah what it feels like yeah, it feels like, yeah exactly so everyone could react differently but for me it was more like i was kind of sad because i was like how like people don't even know me people don't even know and they just have an opinion about me yeah and I wish I could have those conversations with them, where I could like just educate them a little bit and show them that you we will just now because you're yeah in a position, like I said, yeah 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 know who you are, you know? you exactly have quite an influence in that sense yeah. of being inspiration yeah, yeah. And an example for lots of other people, isn't it? Yeah, but we just we're just human beings really, and that's that's the most important. But I think yeah, people not being educated enough is, and that's the thing as well. Sometimes it's not even th their fault, you know, like. They I, yeah, they just I don't know. That nobody, no kid is born a racist. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. That teach you yeah. Things, eh? So it's yeah. not. It doesn't necessarily come from them. That's the environment as well. And yeah. True. So I think yeah, trying to educate people, and yeah, make them understand and yeah, that's, that's being in contact with them. Yeah. Yeah. If you could give one piece of advice to someone who used to raise his language behavior, what would it be? So they should say education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, education. So the next question. One. Can you tell? your thoughts on the importance of anti-racism campaign and education. So campaign that we stand for show raising the record. What do you think of organizations like that, you know? No, I think what it's your yeah, I think it's important because if you know like that you've been a victim of it, you know that you've got support behind you and people understanding and that had been in the same situation that you are. Yeah. So I think it's important to have that support. And um, it's important as well, like talking about education, to educate people mm. 
about this because um, yeah, I really think that racism is, education is probably the biggest thing for me. And being in contact with people that are different than you are and seeing that you're not that different, you know, because no, like you not. think that you are you different, you but are, you're not. Yeah, yeah. You really feel all the layers. Yeah, you're the we're same, we're all the same. We're all yeah. the same. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I grew up in France, but I can see people in England that, are, that had the same experiences, experiences so. than, yeah. than I had. So, same background. Yeah, so same so background like and everything. Speak a different language, different culture. Exactly. So, so, the same thing. so yeah, yeah. no, that, that's important because you, as a person, like if you receive racism, you know that you've got people behind you that support yeah. you, that understand you. And if you don't know about all that, you know that you can learn from those people as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's good oh, great. support. Great, yeah. So other question, do you think football provides a good example of the value of people from different backgrounds working together against racism? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because you've got, even in this team, you've got people that come from different country, that had different experiences and we all playing for the same club and you know defending the same colors and playing yeah. for the same yeah for the same purpose which is to win so uh, it's so important because like being in this dressing room you you've got people that come from so many different backgrounds yeah but we all at the same place yeah so and that's yeah thing, yeah we believe in the same thing and the club does quite a bit in community as well right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. everyone aware as well so yeah. they use you as examples as players exactly Forward, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, as you just alluded already, could you give us a list of different nationalities? How many different nationalities you got in there? Wow. Yeah, because you've got people that come from countries as well, but their parents come from another country yeah. as well. So it's kind of like, yeah, you, <laughs> you could go. You could yeah, around yeah. The world in the dressing room. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. So, no, you've got, well, I'm French. Uh, there is Wilson as well that is French. So we've got French people, people from Belgium as well. Yeah. People from England, obviously. Yeah. People from uh, Africa as well. Uh, so we've got, yeah, Lyle that is from uh, South Africa. We've got uh, Brazilians as well. We've got, yeah, so we've got a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, we've got loads of different yeah, cultures and, okay. yeah, yeah, so, good, good, good. people. So, have you ever been in a squad with Muslim, Christian, or Jewish there? And what did you learn about their religion? Yeah, well, I'm Christian myself. Mm -hmm. I'm Christian myself, but, um, yeah, I've been. I haven't been uh, with Jewish people, but I've been. I've been with uh, Muslim people. Yeah. And uh, well, what, and even it's not just in the dressing room, but it's like in where I grew up as well. Like yeah. yeah, you've got people all around you that are different from yeah. different, um, different beliefs. Different beliefs, religion, yeah. All this, again, the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, it's simple. It's about respect. You know, you just learn that it's about That's respecting each other. You can't. You don't necessarily have to. Well, you can believe that 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 is your truth, you know. Yeah. But you you have to understand that it's not the truth of everyone else, yeah. and you have to respect that, even though you don't agree with everyone. But because if you don't respect other people and you expect them to respect you, it's a bit it's yeah. a bit weird, you know. So yeah. so yeah, respect. Yeah, respect. You you don't have to have the same beliefs, but respect everyone. Yeah. Everyone believes is important. Yeah. And that word respect. I thank you very much, and I've got lots of respect for you. Thank, thank you. Me too.